Hey guys, so today we're out at this little tiny farm pond. We're trapping muskrats. Uh, we had a farmer call and he said that the muskrats are overtaking his pond. So we're out here today doing some nuisance work. Set that blind set we're going to be going up here and checking some muskrat traps and as we can see here we already got one this is a nice defined trail and we had a 110 conibear bear blocking it and there we go nice steep bank here that these muskrats are burrowing in and it seems to be pretty hot because right over here on the next trail we got ourselves another muskrat Just like so. We got two nice muskrats here. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and reset these locations because typically in farm ponds they will live um, anywhere between four or five muskrats in one of these. So we're gonna go ahead and reset these traps and then we got a lot more coon traps to set so stay tuned and see what happens. Coming up here to one of our dog proof traps that we set on the side of this creek here. We got a creek going down here then we have a field up here and this was just a perfect little pinch point that we could set a few traps and we had this guy here and then we had another trap just right behind him out of his reach but as you can see here he's probably got caught pretty early in the evening and he's been here tearing this place up but nice big boar coon we're gonna go ahead and harvest this animal and continue down the line and see what else we got all right, so we're going into this little barn that we set yesterday with some coon traps and this DP still has some stuff in it. Then we had a DP here and let's see what else we got. We had another den hole all in this stuff here. Then we had a pathway going this way right through that crack in the barn there and nothing man I don't know what's going on but uh, they weren't moving last night apparently and because I'm going back to school we have to pull these traps but we'll try this again next weekend or something and we'll see if we can catch one then but let's go ahead and go down the line and hopefully catch something all right so we made it down to the pond we just checked our foot trap nothing in it and then we checked our DPs on the far end of the pond and we had nothing in those. But I wanna go and take this time before we check these muskrat traps and talk about my stabilizing system. So this is a homemade stabilizer that I made and it fits a 110 conibear all the way up until a 220 conibear. So I'm gonna go and set this trap off like so. And this is the staking system that I made. It's basically just a conibear stabilizer stand that I drilled through this piece of rebar and I put a screw on the end and screwed it onto this. And one of the cool things is it acts as a stabilizer plus an anchoring system because I wired this off to the bottom of this stake. So when I drive this down on the ground, they can't go anywhere because this is stabilized and it's stuck on here. So you won't have any of your animals get away from you just in case it wasn't a quick kill. But let's go ahead and check these muskrat traps here I already know we got two, so let's go ahead and take a look at them. So we had a double muskrat run here, and we actually doubled up again, just like we did yesterday. And you can see here, my anchoring system. We got this guy right by his head, perfect head catch on there. And then this one was wired off, and we got this guy here. So two nice muskrats. A uh, little tiny farm pond, just getting destroyed my muskrats. So let's go ahead and check the last two traps here and see what we got. So we had another trap right here. Pull this one out. So as you can see here, um, this, this banked in here has actually been collapsing since we started coming out here. Because I was walking this, 
and I fell through right here, but they actually came by last night and we got another rat. So that is rat number five in this small little pond here. So we're getting them out slowly and surely. So we'll see what else we can get. If this is the last one, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.